This week on Clown College. Oh. Oh, shit. Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Don't think about it. Swallow it. You ain't ever gonna make it in lock up. Swallow it. <laughs> oh, no. I can't do it, man. I understand. I can't do it. This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Hey. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, hey. These clowns rapping, talk boom, boom, about capping. Come around here when I come up scrapping. <laughs> boom, I'm gonna boom, rap, boom, he gonna shit. I don't boom, know what boom, that boom. bitch gonna hit. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Hey! Damn, hey. dude. <laughs> Coming in hot. Hell man. yeah. I know, I had to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, dude. Uh, uh, no. uh, that boy on the fly. Hell yes, I am. So uh, I think we need to talk about uh, one of our heroes dying today. <sighs> oh, dude. Orenthal James, Damn, man. man. Rest in peace. R.I.P. 2,000 yards in a 14-game season. Unheard of. Damn. Just unheard of by running back. Will never be replicated. Yeah, Quite man. literally impossible to do that. Maybe the best follow on Twitter? Yeah. He's up there. Hello, Twitter world. I heard he could drive the <laughs> hell out of a car, too, for some reason. I don't know. He's whipping that thing, man, dude. He, he Modern day cowboy just getting away on that mm-hmm. Bronco, dude. Hey, can you look up that video where he like plays that joke on the – Reporter, where she opens the door and he's got the knife and he's like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I remember that. That's one of the best videos ever made. He's like, I'm dying. Yeah, this that's one? it right there. <laughs> With his Go to face. videos. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, that one. That one. We're going to click on the TikTok one. Damn Chinese spyware. They're going to know all our analytics, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ban this shit. It's taking forever Damn, to load, man. man. Bro, my internet's been doing that lately. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it in. <laughs> hold on, let me turn it off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to restart it for y'all. <laughs> I love how he does it. I'm back to the beginning. Okay, here we go. You're fine. The fuck? Hold on, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> We've been ready, man. <laughs> Turn it up. Oh, fuck. Come this way. Does that hurt your feelings? No. 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 And you got me riled up. You got me started. After we finished filming, OJ said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. Just did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I think it was his idea of a joke. Nope. And this is it. <laughs> 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 He's a jokester. Hey, he is a jokester, dude. Ah, hell no. That's okay. great at comedy, and I believe that's a real knife. Yeah, that probably <laughs> was. Let me slip. Come on, man. He's innocent, man. Oh. He's innocent in my book, dude. You got to quit it. Yeah. Do you know how many African Americans have been falsely accused and convicted of crimes, dude? Man, Let one right. go. You were right. If he got off and he did it, you know, no harm, no foul. Okay, yeah, now the score is like zero to 5,000. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let him go, dude. He's old. Yards, well, now he's dead, games. but he was old, man. man Fuck him. He did, Tom. He Prostate like cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah that That'll got get him. You. That will. That'll get you. <laughs> what a pain a in the ass. <laughs> got him. And nobody will care because he did kill those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prostate it's exams okay, are dude. looking a lot better now, aren't they? Do you think he killed them? Huh? Do you think he killed the people? Do I think he killed? The, you see, me, I didn't do enough research to know. Mm. Yeah, so you I is can, young. I can, yeah, I'm a young guy. I can't tell you yet. I got to see what happens. I got to watch some documentaries. He definitely killed the him. people versus OJ Simpson. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Watch that's out a good one, one to watch. Was that on one. Netflix or Hulu? I, I can't remember. Hulu. I'm pretty sure it was a Hulu one. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But the whole thing was like that glove wouldn't fit on his hand because they had like froze it to preserve it or whatever. The, if the glove doesn't fit, you must have quit or something like that. Johnny Cochran was a <laughs> motherfucker. Hell yeah, dude. Good lawyer. Love Rest him, dude. Peace, dude. He's one of my favorites. His name is what? <laughs> What's his name? Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, right really em- you really emphasize the, the cock, cock <laughs> syllable. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cocaine. Oh, Johnny. Oh, there you go. 
Uh, he could be your daddy, Brandon. He does look like my daddy. That's crazy. <laughs> like for real. That's not he him. That's like an Eddie actor. Murphy. Dude. That's an actor. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> damn, he does too. He looks oh, just like they play. Damn, they did that. He's got the it. Dahmer glasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not good for a man, criminal defense a attorney, sign. dude. Or the best. It's true. He probably could have got Dahmer off. <laughs> man, yeah, I'm glad he didn't. Why? I, sometimes I'm glad he didn't do the thing for Dahmer. You don't want to you you wouldn't want Dahmer to be free? No, hell no, especially if I was around. Shit, hey oh, man, yeah, that, he oh, would have get Brandon. No, no, no. He would have got your no. ass easily. No, I, I, he would have been easy. He he would have probably been bored. Like I can't do this. It's like easy. Brandon. I got some barbecue yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh shit, Ray. Nah, I, I would have <laughs> act like nothing happened. And he'd be like, you didn't smell that. I'd be like, dude, I just didn't want to be rude, man. But this. Did shit you see stank. how he hesitated for a second when he was holding the imaginary ribs? <laughs> he was like, oh wait. <laughs> You just tricked yourself, dude. Yes. So, Tyrone? No. This is my no. second favorite criminal defense attorney right behind uh, Leibowitz. Leibowitz? Who, what Leibowitz? Look up uh, Leibowitz Scottsboro Boys. Le- oh, Leibowitz. Okay, how do you spell Leibowitz? That's close enough. Okay, mm-hmm. Scottsboro oh. Boys. Oh. Well, that's not him. That's, yeah, okay. That is Scott. Edna from The Incredibles. <laughs> Scottsboro what? Boys. Boys. Oh, shit. I remember that. I remember there he that. There is, dude. Oh. Samuel Leibowitz. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Just off the picture, he's my favorite. Yeah, look at him. Because back in those days. Yeah. He was like a Romanian immigrant. Mm. Grew up poor as shit. Grinded his way to the top. He would defend like the most heinous criminals in New York, I believe. Hmm. One of those northeastern, rough, dude, east coast. He didn't fuck around, man. He got him off. Um. Well, I mean, he lightened their sentences. I mean, you got to realize, like these these guys were accused of like gang raping two white women from Huntsville. For real? Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. This is what I was telling you about that one time where they uh, like the the police were like beating these guys one time while they were tra- they were in jail for like years. They had multiple trials. They got the death penalty, and people were like, "Don't kill them." You know, so then they were like, okay, well, life in prison, even though they were completely innocent, man. Yeah. And the police were like beating them in the car one time, and a dude had a knife or something and like slashed one of the police officer's throats, like in the cop car. I think this might be false, but I think this is what happened. And then one of the other cops shot him. So, like, one of the dudes died. A couple of other ones spent like, I, I want to say like close to 13 years in prison. Damn, man, that's bad. falsely accused. But it's because. Uh, Ruby Bates and Victoria Price were the two women that accused these guys, and mm. they were like the scum of white society. They worked at the like least prosperous cotton mill in Huntsville, lived in an all black neighborhood. Like white, pe- like good white people like me would spit on those whores. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they got some attention from saying that mm-hmm. this happened, and they just wrote it out, dude. It's kind of like the Salem witch trials. Damn man, yep. hoes, man. This was OnlyFans before OnlyFans, that is dude. Crazy. <laughs> That is Unbelievable. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always and been people, here. People get mad at my jokes saying uh, I miss old yeah. racism. Not not getting hung for saying a white girl had a fat ass racism. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really uh, good example. Local example. Yeah. Bro, Scott's yeah, bro is 40 minutes away. It's fucking crazy. Unreal, dude. And there's there's some crazy old like excerpts from the Huntsville Times. The editor hated these dudes. Like they there's one, I can't even say. What it says on can like I can't say that because that's not correct, you know. But like the, I like the headline how you said on camera. Saying, yeah, I'll tell you after. <laughs> I say it every night Dang. in the mirror before I go to bed, but I'm not willing to do that in a recorded setting. Damn, that's new. When this happened, no, I'm just fucking with you. I, don't. I think it was like the 30s. <laughs> oh, 20s, yeah. 30s. Damn. Yeah, that's a year. That yeah, that's fucking crazy, man. That's I like how we going, started man. with some lighthearted topics yeah, like yeah, murder yeah. and gang <laughs> rape, right? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. We we hey we went full spectrum, dude. A mm. black guy that did do the crime who got away with it. Yeah. yeah. And then here's nine black dudes that didn't do it that didn't get away with it. Falsely accused yep. and in prison. So it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's not even even. You know, it's all the way over here. It's reparations, dude. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, let OJ man. go, man. You know. Let's bring him back. <laughs> I'm ready. Here he is. Give it up. <laughs> he walks in. It's man, Alex in blackface. Oh, man. I'd be like, oh, my gosh. No, 
I think yeah. Alex should do his hair like how Terrence Howard had. <laughs> oh my God! I oh, love that yeah. Terrence Howard. Uh, <laughs> this nigga is and wild. he's ginger. Why is it red, man? I don't even know. Like, is that's his red, natural like hair? a bondish red. Oh, that right looks there. reddish. Oh that, yeah, that's red. Wait, that is hold red. Hold on. First of all, this is Jake Muncie. <laughs> I mean, look at that chest hair, (laughs) the regular hair, dude. This is Jake, man. Man. Equally insane. I can't believe Terrence Howard. And he's he. This is a serious interview. Wow, man. Where he's talking about why he has to come back to work. (laughs) He was trying to retire, and he's talking serious through this whole interview with this hair. (laughs) Look at the bottom right. This was for Straight Talk Wireless. Oh, how the mighty have fallen, man. But that hair is beautiful, dude. Yeah. It, it is. It's it nice. Is. It's like Wendy Williams, you know? <laughs> I like it. Not, not a good comparison. Uh, uh, no, not a good comparison. No, I, I see the vision. The Farrah Fawcett just... right there. Oh, Who? yeah. Farrah, Farrah Fawcett. Fawcett. That's the Farrah Fawcett hair. Let's, let's, let's search that yeah. up. You said Popularized Farrah by Farrah Fawcett. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Dude, I First think she would have been my okay. celebrity crush right back there. in the That's day. That's the same hair. So what movies did she do? Uh, she's big. She was huge. I don't know. It was before my time, but uh, she was like the smoke show of the like seventies. Uh, yeah, sixty seventies. Yeah, dude. That that I almost had that. That's what I was going for <laughs> when I had the moment. You would have pulled it off, man. <laughs> it wasn't as good as that. Hey, I was more like Ferris Spigot, dude. That sounded racist. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to find a slur it sound like I think I got it. The Mexicans. No. <laughs> no man i use double g's but that's a different slur <laughs> double g's I don't... oh what else happened uh oh, you had you had a fun night last night with your new friend that you oh made yeah dude. at fat sammy's this punk ass bitch <laughs> he looks like harry potter if he was a cuck damn he's I mean, he's just a bitch. He's did it before. I didn't know it was the same person, yeah. but with Daniel Castillo, he was going up to practice for rest a stand up live. Yeah, rest mm-hmm. in peace. Uh, he was going up there to uh, practice for a stand up live, and he kept on saying shit like, You're not funny. Say something funny, and like ruined his whole set. Then Jake gets up there last night, and out of nowhere, because he wasn't doing it before, and he just starts heckling Jake. Like, uh, check his hard drive, and. Yeah, I, and stuff, man. and like every time Jake would try to say a punchline, he would step all over, just like ah, saying just saying dumb shit. Then I get up there, and uh, the skinny one has said something first. I'm talking about my mom. He was like, "Mom's a, a hoe" or something like that. I was like, I told him I was like, "I'm just a nigga up here on the mic. I will fuck you up." You know what I'm saying? I just let him yeah, know yeah. that I will beat the shit out of you, you punk ass bitch. And then uh, and then uh, so. I try to keep, and then I forgot my fucking new joke that I'm trying to work yeah. on for tonight at, at uh, shenanigans, and then because he, he flushed at me, I don't like that he flushed at me either. Yeah, that's I why, that's kind of that. why I wanted to just smack the shit. I, it, look, I'm telling y'all, it wouldn't have been a fight. I would have just went up there and smacked him, and I guarantee one thousand percent he would have screamed and yeah. then ran and called the police. He had a he pedophile screamed mustache, loud too. Yeah. yeah, he had the pedo stash. He walked like Forrest Gump as a child with the <laughs> leg braces on. He was drunk as shit. But they were definitely the type. If you would have even slightly put your hand on them they would contact the authorities immediately oh, yeah. he did that with alex alex went up there he was like and alex was being nicer this time yeah. the first time yeah. alex got in his ass and he was scared he was like he was like i just want to shake your hand and i was like no fuck you you're you're fucking up the whole uh comedy show then uh alex goes over there while i think i was on stage and he was like he he was he's like hey man can you uh calm it down he was like you're being really aggressive with me and you touched me uh oh it's a bitch ass nigga i can't stand them whole ass hey but i love to do that boy alex he gets fired oh, up yeah, dude yeah, he's on business zero so to 100 fast, real dude. fast i love he's like confidence. a tesla plaid that guy <laughs> just fucking angry in a second dude i love it though. yeah i do dude He's the best, man. He's a good host. You need that. Oh, yeah. And yeah. a host. He fucking. Because you don't want to just let the. the tone. You, yeah, you just don't want to let the crowd just. I mean, because that can ruin everything. Then yeah. everybody who's going up there, you have to deal with this heckler. And it's not a fun heck. Even if somebody's drunk, the dude in the front was drunk with the uh, red hair. But he was cool. Exactly. Oh, yeah. he, he would chill. say shit. He would say shit, but he would, he would know. Yeah. Like, he, and he was belligerently drunk, and he was still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But he was still like you could have fun with that, you know what I mean? He was, he was just, there for the comedy. He was, he, was, he was there to have a good time at a comedy show. Yeah. These guys got their back turned with some girls who they're definitely not fucking. Yeah. And oh, there's no chance. Oh no, no, no. damn, they weren't. They wanted to. 
but they're probably friends and they go have coffee together. But no insertion for sure. Friends <laughs> Tom's like they do white people shit. Yeah. They, like drink coffee in a group. <laughs> Bet these bitch asses was at Starbucks. Hey, tell that, that that shit was just they lame. Didn't give it to you. Oh, but yeah. yeah, because Jake went up fifth, and that's mm-hmm. kind of when it really started getting yep. bad. You went up six, and then I was seventh. So it was just us three in a row, and I said I have a joke where I'm like, I'm about to graduate college, and then they just started booing. Shocking that they're not big fans of education, dude. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely mind boggling. But then they were just like for the rest of the time they would talk unnecessarily loud. Yep. They're drunk. And just what pisses me off about those type of people, they've never been punched in the face. Yeah. They've you could always tell. You could tell. been they've always been allowed to be dickheads and just the worst people ever. Yeah. And it's like Everybody else in there, even the random people, not just the comedians, was enjoying the show. They were laughing. They were involved. It's just those two fucking pussies yeah, in the yeah. corner were just like, mm, 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 and like made the whole thing about them. Yeah. And it's like, you're lame as shit. Get dude. up. You can just get up. leave. Or get up. It's not, we're downtown. Yeah. There's a million places to go. Oh, get out yeah. and leave, dude, mm-hmm. with nobody. Like nobody there is fucking with you. Your your coworkers are like, yeah, I'm sorry about that guy. He's a dickhead. Yeah, and that's the so and they like, work, and they and the thing is, they work there, so they know it's going to be a comedy show. It's not like it was just uh, put up on them at the last second. They knew it was going to be a comedy show. You work at this fucking place. I guarantee, there's no we don't have any comedians that would be dicks to uh, the staff. No. Everywhere we Hell go, no. the staff loves us. We tip well. We fucking always buy shit for the establishment, and uh, they everyone I'm likes us. I don't. I never even remember this guy, uh, but I will be looking for him from now on. Mm-hmm. I want to spit in his face. I, I, I don't. I, I don't know how I can relay this Hot. in such a way. And Dan, calm me down. Thank Dan Price. But he was like, because he was like, he was like, come over here. He's like, you got uh, something? Because I told him I was like, uh, I'm just a regular nigga up here. I, you know, what I'm saying I, I will be off this stage. Yeah. So. You know, I'll be waiting outside. So I, whenever your set was, the, the the skinny one started to walk like he was going outside. I just left. I was like, oh, I'm going up here to smoke a cigarette, wait for him to come out. And I will call him a bitch ass, punk ass. I'm, and I, I, I'm glad he didn't because I was, I probably would have smacked him. Because I would have been like, you see, you just like you said, you never been hit in the face. Mm-hmm. A good smacking. You know what I'm saying? A good smacking. Some people need it. And I think police should be on my side on this. Tough Definitely. love, dude. Yeah. Well, first of all, every, every comedian would have been like, we didn't see anything. I don't know what that guy's talking about, right. dude. Try, let yeah. me talk to him. <laughs> I have right. a way with the police. Yeah. Dude. I just stand behind Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan would have to. He'd probably do better. Than yeah, oh, yeah, Dan, Dan mm-hmm. would be like, hey, well, let's calm this down. Fellas, <laughs> fellas. Like, like a mafia movie. Hey, hey, calm it down there for a minute. Shit gets real. Yeah, Nigga. dude, I was sitting next to Jake, and once you got up there and they started heckling you, he got he was like getting up out of his seat, and I just had to grab him. I was like, Jake, we've been over this, man. <laughs> and I and I told him I was like, those guys are gonna call the cops they if would've. you oh, hit yeah. them, mm-hmm. you know. So they're not they're not real Americans, dude. <laughs> no, no. They don't believe in you know freedom. Yeah, no. I like a guy even if he was if he was talking shit like that, and he was like, let's go outside, and then he got his ass whooped because these dudes had no chance of. Any kind of yeah. physical altercation with any, I think any of us, to be honest with you. Them I think put Alex, together had no testosterone. No. Yeah. Nothing, dude. I mean, the least. Yeah. But have the nerve to talk the most. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Tammy would have beat these guys' ass. Oh, Tammy would have fucked them up 100%. Yeah. Tammy yeah. would have fucked them up. She looks she, like she got some spice to her. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I wouldn't well, fight uh, her, dude. Oh, because so they're, uh, that's, they're um, part of Kim's uh, shenanigans uh, stand up class. That we talked about on Kim's episode. Yeah. They yeah. do a stand up class at Shenanigans and they and they got good stuff. They I do. like the uh yeah, her. Tammy's good. Ta- Tammy's good. Really she has, funny. A, she has mm-hmm. a really good joke. Uh and then um the uh, long hair guy, I can't remember his name. The mm-hmm. dude from Tennessee. There was two. Yeah. But the first one that went up. Yeah, he was good. He was good. Fentanyl yeah. Jesus. Yeah, whatever. fentanyl Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he, he had some yeah, good he shit. Was very funny. Uh so uh Kim's over there teaching it right. So if you ever even if you're already doing stand up and you just want to learn some more, go I, check it out. Yeah. yeah, shout out that. I think that dude's name was Matt. Yeah, and Matt he was, Atkins. He was Matt Atkins? Yes, Matt okay. Atkins. Well, you know, he's a white dude. 50% mm-hmm. chance his name is Matt <laughs> or Joshua. <laughs> you got it right on the dot, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you just call me buddy, dude. Yeah, and then winked. I don't know why I did that. that was I didn't see the wink. You didn't have to admit to that. We'll see it on <laughs> we'll the camera later. Yeah, oh, yeah, you will. You're gonna be Brandon, like, I want to... Huh? No, you go. <laughs> you turn your whole head to wink. Wink, Brandon. 
<laughs> well, that you just blinked because you did both your eyes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, All right. Now, what were you saying next? Can, can we? Uh, what, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, have, I got nothing. Oh, uh, remember we were practicing for the Kanye uh, skit. Can you can you uh, go ahead in that camera and do uh, when Kanye said George Bush doesn't like black people? Doesn't care about black doesn't people. care about black people. George Bush doesn't care about oh yeah remember remember what we talked about huh? hold up eggs huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm Kanye I'm Kanye I'm Kanye you're the shit George Bush doesn't care about black people oh he did a comedy he, he did hold a comedy George Bush doesn't care about black people there you go that's pretty that good that sounded like Cleveland Brown more I didn't like that he ain't country it's like music it's, to it's my your ears. energy your energy has to be you know at a standstill. George Bush doesn't believe in black people. <laughs> oh, George Bush hey, doesn't he believe understands in black they're people. all too real, bro. <laughs> this Slavery shit. was a choice. I didn't mean that. I'm Kanye. <laughs> you know what? I do mean that because I'm God, nigga. That's Kanye, right? There you that go. was really that good. Was, I got into my robe because I'm really like good. that. Hey. I got light bulbs sucking for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Kanye. Hell yeah. Opioids dude. is the genius killer. He knows him. Oh my God. Hey, he's on it. I've been audit. studying. He's I'm finna watch the documentary. There's I'm a Kanye saying, doc? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty uh, cool. I would watch it. Oh, yeah. It's on Netflix. Yes, I it believe. is. Netflix. Mm-hmm. I don't have Netflix, dude. For real? I got you, man. I'm not a fucking corporate loser, dude. <clears throat> I'm man. poor. <laughs> <laughs> they keep upping those prices. They do dude. up the prices. Mm-hmm. Now, like the bottom tier, you have to watch ads. What? Yeah. Uh, like the one Jake has, of course, because he's poor. But uh, the mm, one <laughs> well, nah, there's some other things. Yeah, about he's probably him not. As well. he's, he's not poor. He just doesn't spend money because we know why. Yeah, we, we don't want to say who they are, but I don't want to say what ethnicity. Jake Think is. of what yeah, Kanye yeah. would say. But he's a Jewish guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But on his, yeah, you got to watch uh, ads. Yeah. Which is crazy for Netflix. That's the whole reason you get Netflix. His last name is one consonant away from being money, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> J Money. <laughs> yeah, they messing with video games, too. Like, you see how PlayStation Plus is going up now? Isn't it like 25 bucks a month? Damn. Damn. That's yeah. steep. Yeah, I think. And no, wait, actually, it's different modes. Like, the first one is like, I think the cheapest might be 15. If you want the Plus, it's like up to 25. And if you get like the, there's another one where you get all the PlayStation games from like back in your day, PlayStation 1. They had PlayStations in the 1950s, dude? Oh, man, I know, both right? Y'all Prototypes. <laughs> Prototypes. <laughs> Prototypes. Young ass niggas. My bad, Atari. Atari. <laughs> yeah, Pong, dude. Oh, man, that was, yeah, that's a good game. <laughs> I played some people in it. Beat them, too. And Pong? Is that a two-player game? Yeah. I'd never played Pong. Yeah, Pong, yeah, back in the day, that's how you would. I'm not that old. That's Fox. beer Pong, Brandon. Oh, you're talking about beer <laughs> Pong? PBR I was talking about shit where they go dude. like that. I should. never did beer pong. Oh yeah, we got to teach a beer. Can pong. you look I have up a beer pong table, dude? That's what I'm saying, dude. Can yeah. you look up chugger nights? Chugger nights. Yeah. <laughs> well, you getting close today? That's what this is. Called. I, I know, sent you this on Instagram. I know, man. but the the way you just said it. What 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 do you say? It's that thing right there. It's <laughs> like the rock'em sock'em robots. Oh about yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they got like a little shield and a little sword. You put uh, a tall boy or one of those slim cans in those things. And it pokes a hole in it with the sword. It's like rock'em sock'em robots for alcoholics, dude. <laughs> and you got to shotgun it if you lose. That's fun. JJ wants to play this, but he's the lightest drinker out of all of them. <laughs> I want to play it. He too. will be fucked but up. But I like after games, two. man. Okay, dude. My dynasty in Retro Bowl College right now, dude. Just won the major Damn. championship in my first season as South Florida's head coach, dude. <laughs> Our facilities declined in the off season, but we're coming back, dude. Our quarterback got drafted in the first round. Had to sign a new one for $35,000, dude. These NIL deals are killing the game, dude. I understand why Saban retired. Damn. Can you believe this, Brandon? I, I don't know shit about football, man. <laughs> dude, that's got... weird because I played it. What, what position did you play? Uh, let's see. I was in the front line in middle school. This thing is you in the front Army? <laughs> well, not You're in the, the military. JRTC? Okay, so I was in the, what, what is this? The defensive line, something like Wait, that. Did, did, <laughs> were you on D-line or O-line? I think I was D-line. So you you played defense? Yes. You weren't protecting the quarterback or no no. I mean, I, oh yes, I was. I was in the front trying to stop the like what so they would do is they would put line. a dude yeah. in front of me and they'd be like, you just try to stop this guy. And they'd always give me the biggest motherfucker. I, I told you I was short and fat, and they'd be the dude six foot five. Yeah, Brandon, what 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 level were you playing at? Man, 
Well, we all, well, it was middle school, so we were all just, I don't even know. <laughs> and you had a six foot five dude, the, dude I, well, these days, man, yeah. Dude, he was so big. Antibiotics I, and chicken. Yeah. Dude, the dude he saying. tackled before me was this other guy that was big as hell, and he picked him up, threw him on the ground. I never seen a, a, a middle, what, what did they call him? Young adult cry like he did that night, man. An adolescent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> young adult. Like he was whimpering and all that shit. I was like, damn, man. Ah, and then they're like, Brandon, up. we need a replacement. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I did. You went out there. Oh hell you yeah! Had a business? Yes. You, no, man. <laughs> this was the time I didn't know how to do shit. This was before wrestling day. So man. what happened? I was horrible. Man, I fell every time. <laughs> my mom felt. My mom was mad. She would be up there mad and just be like, "Son, you supposed to block the mother. Oh, what are you doing?" Yeah. And then one time I remember they were blowing the whistle and another dude didn't know what the fuck to do. He was just holding on my jersey as they were blowing the whistle and I'm like, "Why is he still on me?" But yeah, it was horrible. Like. Everybody in my family. I know who Brandon was right now. I could see him. Who was I? No, it was just, the, just one of the people. I know who he is, too. Yeah. Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> That's like. That was fucking bad. I never <laughs> caught shit, though. You know I can't catch shit. Oh, yeah. You're an offensive lineman. You didn't have to catch You don't really need to catch any. You're I not an eligible receiver. Yeah, you know? I couldn't do nothing in football. I don't even know why you I push. went on that thing. But every time somebody would just touch you, you would fall, right? Oh, back then I was bad. It was bad. Brandon was getting touched all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I almost bad. got messed up earlier. I almost got sex trafficked. I feel like I was driving. Up. <laughs> <laughs> so today Brandon has gotten a car accident yeah. and almost got sold into sex slavery. Yeah, yeah same Tell him about it, Brandon. So, uh, all in the day's work. <laughs> I was driving home and then like I passed like near a Target near a university and this lady like I worked there. I got fired. <laughs> this lady ran out in the middle of the road and started doing this and waving and I at first. I slowed down for a minute. And I was like, hell no. Nah. And I kept going. Then she jumped out the way. And I saw like a dude in the truck just doing this the whole time. And I don't know what the fuck that meant. Oh, but yeah. that was that, that was very weird. Out. And it, it may be. No, no, maybe to it. Hell yeah. That's why I kept going. But uh, second part, then I'm going through this thing. And I, yep, I got hit. My first one. Roundabout, right? Yes. I hate roundabout. Those are confusing sometimes. Those are horrible. Well, you just yield to the person on the left. Yeah, you yeah. yield to the person on the left. But she didn't yield. She hit you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that was bad. Didn't get out the car because you were black. No, I did. No, you got. Oh out the car. yeah, yeah. She, she wouldn't did. even look yeah, at I you. I knew right? what the deal was. I knew what. Yeah, she would. Yeah, I knew. I, I like. I, at first, I was like, "Hey," I was like, "Yeah, I know, I know." Let me just take these pictures. Mm-hmm. Just got in the car. Bitch, better have insurance too. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of car she have? Man, it looked newer. It looked newer like car. Really, it was Wait, really there's nice. a photo. There yeah. was a photo. I, no, I didn't see. I didn't see. I don't it. Know. Yeah. it was really nice though. Huh. Um, really nice it's a quality vehicle, mine, but like a like a two thousand and like fifteen oh. above. It was it was it, it was a n- nicer than not car, right? She yes. got insurance then. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, it was nice. I'm mm-hmm. just proud of my car staying up because that shows my car is tough. I love it. Okay, yeah. Oh damn, car's mine. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. It? Like she a kept you hit Brandon like Civic. Nah, come on, you know I got great thunder. The great white, <laughs> great thunder, thunder. Yeah, great thunder, great goose, maybe. <laughs> got that too. <laughs> Road beer. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was one of those CRVs or the Passport. Yeah, so it was a crazy day. Hell yeah. I was so chill, though, man. Like, there was a dude outside. He was like, oh, my gosh, you okay? And I just rolled down the window. I was like, yeah, man, I'm good. Go walk your dog. (laughs) (laughs) And I was so chill. It was good. It was good. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's it. That's it for us today. Oh, we got Ogre on. Oh. Uh and it's a surprise is gonna be in there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good. This yeah. is the last time you'll see me for a while, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. See you next week. All right, Thank a second. You. This week's featured comedian. This bulge in the front of my pants. There's not one. <laughs> uh, I need to have a shit in my front pockets to throw you off the scent. <laughs> You see this good, ladies? Yes, sir. I know how to eat shit, girl. <laughs> I'll get y'all six or seven times and just push those squirrel covers over out of the way. <laughs> squirrel covers. <laughs> You'll think about that later on tonight. You'll throw up in your mouth and come a little bit. But either way, either way, I'm doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Are you use headphones or no headphones? Yeah, I'm going to use them. I like to hear Dom's voice. Yeah, Me too. It's real <laughs> directly into my ears. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> <sighs>
who who do we have here today, JJ? I'm torn, dude. Why? I'm real torn. I love our guest. Uh huh. I really do. I'm not looking forward to what we have to do this episode. <laughs> they don't know what we got to do, JJ. They're going to find out. They're going to find They're out. They're going to find out. But how about you tell us about our guest today? <sighs> our guest today, uh, actually, the second person ever I saw perform stand up comedy Ooh. in person. Second uh. person ever. Dos. He's on the new uh, Be Kind, Don't Rewind podcast that drops every Thursday over on the Studio Jester YouTube channel. Shout and out. he's a hell of a comedian. Guys, today we have Ogre. Yeah. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming on, big hell dog. Yeah. Oh, hello. Huntsville <laughs> favorite, one of my favorites. Oh, my God, Ogre, when you go up there, it's a pleasure. It is. I always <laughs> tell people, I tell you, I tell people all the time about whenever the first time men was at shenanigans, <laughs> and you won. And you won because, oh, my God. <laughs> and I you just, just went back. She loved it, too. I just want everybody to know she loved it. I just it. wanted to tell five minutes of dumb jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, tell us about your podcast that you got with the great Kim. Uh, this is where we take, like, uh, movies that you you watched when you were younger or whatever. Mm-hmm. You, know, you have fond memories of. And we just go back and watch them again. And just if, if they didn't age well, we shit all over them. And if they were good, then we praise them or whatever it's, it's been really fun so far oh it's fun i was on it and oh, we yeah, had a yeah. great time somebody yeah. else was on it recently huh yeah yeah our uh, sweet little baby boy brandon hey, hey. <laughs> be smooth <laughs> yeah what'd y'all watch hey, uh, we watched know. uh rocky uh. the world's best movie <laughs> you want to tell them all about our bed mm-hmm. now so uh you know when i watch rocky i get motivated I got motivated at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah. Put up some eggs. Oh, I could do that shit. So now we're here and we're going to eat rotten eggs. I mean, raw eggs. No. I mean, raw eggs. eggs. Not rotten. Raw eggs. <laughs> two. Not one. Two. Mm-hmm. We're, not, we're not pussies. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, and they got me and JJ to go along who had no idea about this. Yeah. <laughs> but somehow we're involved. I'm not so going to be the guy that yeah. doesn't do the eggs. Come on. Yeah. We're all doing That's what them. I'm saying. I smelled them earlier and I thought my. Asshole was about to fall out of my body. Dude. <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that took a turn. Man. <laughs> yeah. All right, the great Kimberly yeah. Wilson's going to present us. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> eggs. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, I did not want to do it. I want a square one. I mean a circle. I mean, I guess they're all one. circles. All right, <laughs> <It's not laughs> singular shapes. Eggs. That's actually the most circular one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it don't matter. They're all full of fucking eggs, man. <laughs> here oh, you man. go. Here you go. Oh, oh yeah, Jack's doing one too. Mm-hmm. All right, Brandon, you're first. <laughs> Let me take this off just to be safe. Mm-hmm. Can I get the bucket just in case? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got a trash can. can over there. Right. Right there. Taking my right. Right. Unreal. You're getting greedy. You're getting greedy. What you doing? Careful. <sighs> All right. All right. Y'all ready? Ready. Are you ready? Yeah. You, you brought this shit on yourself. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Done. That's it. Let's let it. Let's let it sit there for a second. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is saying something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. That's good? it. All right. Yeah, is it on you, move. JJ? Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. Damn. I wait for this. There's no thing about it. Oh, my gosh. The level of I don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm with fine, you. <laughs> oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Shit, don't think about it. Swallow it. You ain't ever gonna make it in lockup. Swallow yeah. it. Shit. <laughs> oh no, I can't He's, do it, man. I, I can't do it, dude. Well, did you did you swallow any of it? No, man. No, dude. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you just gotta think about it. I don't know how to do this, but I'm gonna do it. You done? Are you gonna try to swallow it again? Get it, go around. I'll come back to it, man. <laughs> he said I'll come back to it. <laughs> just like swallowing the gold. Just don't think about it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Do what I did. Oh, <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dumb, stop. Uh, <laughs> shit, I don't know if I can do it, bro. <laughs> stop trying to make me laugh. I'm doing this. 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 Do it, bro. I can't do it, bro. No. I can't do it. You almost got one to your mouth. You almost did. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> These are real. I don't. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I could physically do it, bro. I couldn't make myself swallow it, man. <laughs> Fuck out of here! <laughs> 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 Why is he angry, dude? Yeah. That's real. Yeah, that's, that's real right here, Ogre. Why you got an eye fuck me? I didn't do shit. <laughs> you brought this to the table. No, that was, that was your boy over there. Not me. Your chest 20. all poked up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just called him on his bullshit. Oh, God. <sighs> Need some salt. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking I was thinking about putting a little salt and pepper in it. Yeah, a, little, a little salt would have made it go down way t- smoother. A little Tabasco or something, Texas Pete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. All right. All right, ready for me now? Ready for you. I was still in there. <laughs> Bitch asses. <laughs> Hell yeah. Come on. <laughs> Jack, that's just go. All right, so. Uh, breakfast. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you do? Can you do his camera, uh, Athena? Over to Jack a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> we didn't try. Okay. Oh, I just hold it. Go. Yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Oh my God, JJ. <laughs> me and you are just bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what it seems like. Now everybody else did it, so I have to do it. Uh, go ahead, I have to man. drink out of this fucking bowl. Oh. Oh. You got this. Okay. You got it. Just don't think about it. Yeah. The, dude. Come on, you got you it. You just got to swallow it. It's the only way. Oh, he keeps on putting. He can't do it. Hold on. The- I'm going to put some music on for him. <laughs> They're gone, dude. Oh, oh you did it? I did. Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> I did it. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did them one at a time. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. And I have you know when I when I spit these out, like I spit after that too. Oh. Yeah, let me drink the water. So actually, you guys are pussies. <laughs> <laughs> you just better be glad you drank them finally. You had to even hold my pocket after this. <laughs> oh shit. It's oh. Everywhere. That's Get an it. easy 20 grams hey. of protein, dude. Best intro to a fucking podcast you ever seen. <laughs> we did it. Hell yeah. I was way more nervous for that than any stand-up set I've ever done, man. It didn't feel right when it hit the lips. Yeah. You have to, you it's completely almost like can't let it touch it. to eat it like that, dude. <laughs> yeah, you just got to ignore it. I, I was like, oh, it's trying to kick out. Try to run. I am going to keep this over run. here, though. Just yeah. <laughs> they come back to haunt me, man. I've yeah. eaten eggs way worse. Shout out Huddle House. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Oh, my gosh, man. So, Ogre, you're a Huntsville favorite. I haven't met anybody who says they don't love you or your fucking material. You're a fucking monster. I just want you to know that. And I, you know, I, I said it on the podcast when Kim was here, but I thought you didn't like me at first. Because I was trying to give you a fist bump. I probably didn't see you at first. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize you were blind as shit. So, <laughs> I was like, damn, man, Ogre doesn't like me. No, You don't want Ogre not to like you. But uh, we love to fucking have you. I'm so happy to be yeah, a part yeah. of the scene with you, bro. Big dog. See, so, yeah, I just look like I just, I just try to do it again. I'm blind as shit. <laughs> you trying to drink some more of it? No. Oh, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> I'm blind as shit. And I know I look racist as fuck, but I'm completely colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's just gray. Everybody. Hey. Everybody's yeah. aliens. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like when you called, uh, we were at Shaq Nasty's, you called somebody a blur. Yeah, and she was like, "Who is he talking to?" Yeah. <laughs> you're you, the blur. You, you fuzzy bitch. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You want to talk about that joke you did at uh, Shag Nasty's that uh, you oh missed up? Oh my god! <laughs> I think that's what we should talk about because yeah. I knew it as soon as it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I got a joke where I say I know I look racist or whatever, and I I say how uh, 
I haven't said colored in three weeks, and I was talking about colored pencils. I still took a talking to, but then I go, "Where's all my black people at?" But I had just got done saying the word colored, so I said, <laughs> "Where are my colored people at?" Out loud into a fucking microphone. Yeah. I was like, "Well, that shit just happened." That's funny. And all you can do is just keep going. Yes. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get my ass up to the parking lot or not. <laughs> And it went. I think it went over most people's heads. Yeah, like yeah. everybody's just like, "Oh, that's part of his bit." Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks we were, like he says it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna do it, Shag Nasties is yeah. the place I, to do that it. That is true. Sure. That Hell is true. Yeah. I'm still crying from this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I really have tears in my eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't that bad. Nah, it's not bad now. I wasn't bad. I'm over with it. I feel like I have a parasite inside of me, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to eat uh, no raw bacon to finish out the Grand Slam or nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. That's too far there. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been doing stand-up, man? Uh, June will be six years. Damn. Hell yeah, man. A vet. And you've been on a lot of shit. I try. You know what I'm saying? Get, I've been on as much shows as I can get a ride to. <laughs> I want to know. They don't about let this, you drive, man. huh? They don't let you drive. Fuck no, they don't let me drive. <laughs> I, I thought I saw a video of you driving, man. Oh, you saw the end of it too, didn't you? <laughs> Fiery wreck. Yeah, <laughs> I plowed into my buddy's trailer. For real? Yeah, my son had a uh, Crown Vic, and he let me drive it in my buddy's field. And I got him. I just fucking hammered down. <laughs> I, I, I whipped it around a couple times and drove straight to the side of a little uh, to pull behind a trailer. <laughs> Are you fucking saying? Did you not see the video, dude? No, I, I didn't see the video. I sent it to him. Oh, unbelievable. Huh? You said you sent it to me. I don't think I did. Oh. I, to, I sent it to, uh, I might have. Hell yeah. That's on Instagram probably. I sent it to you. Oh, with Instagram, you know. That's hit text message. Don't tell the people out there, but I don't fuck with that shit. He looks like tech sport, doesn't know yeah. how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably better at Instagram than me for sure. My glasses don't work half. See, I'll be all right. <laughs> For a blind guy, I send a lot of people a bunch of dumb shit. Oh, you sent oh, me oh, some yeah. amazing stuff, man. Free bird on the harp? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh, shit. I've never seen anything like yeah. it, man. She has an awesome cover of uh, Queen's Love of My Life, too. That's pretty good. Damn, Is she that? hot? Oh, She's my pretty, gosh. Man. I'm dumb. so damn old now at this point, I feel like an old pervert saying anybody's hot other than Kathy Bates. <laughs> 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 Shout out Kathy Bates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You said her name, Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. Oh, oh yeah. Brandon doesn't know who that is. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Who you that probably is. do. Yeah, uh, if you're saying it, you know who it is. Uh, what's my? She has a, the, one of the best movies uh, where she oh, hits, yeah, hits the dude's legs. Misery. 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 Yeah. I just watched that not too she long ago. Unsinkable Molly Brown, the Titanic. Yep. Man. A wonderful. Yeah, she was uh, the mama on the water boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She my, 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 my mama said <laughs> she get it <laughs> <laughs> a buddy of mine was like would you rather sleep with Kathy Bates or Nicole Kidman and I was like I think I'd rather sleep with Kathy Bates I feel like she'd appreciate it more and you're right I'm with you yeah did who Nicole Kidman yeah let's see doesn't do anything for me uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. she used to be hot she had creepy skinny old witch hands now yeah <laughs> it's something about her like like she's not there behind the eyes. Yeah, she, she just not. looks like a villain, man. Yeah, yeah. like Game of Thrones. Shit parties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you go to the P Diddy party? What do I? If get he was, at? if he was like, he was what like, oh, he's seen you do stand up. He's like, hey, come on, <laughs> let's come over, stop by. I'd get me a, a pair of chastity boxers first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, I heard a lot, but I didn't see nothing. That's <laughs> yeah. hey, a win. So, look, you were doing uh, comedy through the pandemic. Mm-hmm. All right. Used to do drive through shows? I never did one of the drive through shows. You're drinking you? whiskey. I smell from here. Yeah, <laughs> of course, I'm drinking whiskey. Jesus do you know who I am? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm fully aware. Hey, you always smell like that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Good old whiskey. Well, you got to drown the eggs down with whiskey. That's all well. Really? I don't know, man. Yeah, drive I didn't, through? I didn't do, yeah, I didn't do any of the, the. It was like a the drive-in at Shenanigans when they were when the pandemic they only anybody perform, uh-huh. so you had to sit in your car. That's what know, I'm talking tell, about. Tell, tell, yeah, yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, okay, okay. 
somebody's getting a whooping after this. That's our Nintendo guy. <laughs> 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 he advertises all the shit. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. I advertise the fuck out of Shenanigans. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome place. Oh, yeah. He's a nice person. He doesn't just do his own <laughs> <Yeah. everything. laughs> Shout out Shenanigans. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. You know what else, you know what else uh, Shenanigans is doing? On May 10th, Killer Clowns mm-hmm. live show. It will be badass. We got crowd participation, bucket pool spots. I'm so worried JJ's about to uh, lose it right now. Are you okay? No, dude, I'm worried. I'm just like Rocky, dude. I got knocked down, but I'm getting back this, up. Wait, wait, wait. What's this, wrong? You didn't hear no bell. Holy shit. What happened? I don't know, man. I think they made me drunk a little bit, dude. <laughs> I don't know what they made. I, I feel different, bro. I'll never be the same. Yeah. Something about two raw eggs just summons the inner bitch in you. Yeah. Come on now. Sack up on me. <laughs> Make you stronger, man. Yeah. <laughs> Strong like bull. How you beat Apollo Creed, you know? How you gonna beat him? I'm not fighting him, dude. Oh, no, no. Rocky did. <laughs> <laughs> what will be... All right, so your podcast, please uh, be kind, don't rewind. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm saying that right? Because I got dyslexia, so sometimes oh, I switch fine. words around. But... uh what would be your movie from your childhood? Oh, man. I don't even know. Mm-mm. You got to give us one. I want to say Princess Bride, but that's... Okay. That was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably Princess Bride. Andre the Giant. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, Brandon, I think you and Ogre got something to talk oh, about. Oh, yeah. He's been Favorite excited about era. this. He's been so excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> Love the 80s wrestling. Oh, yeah. That's, my, that's better than anything today. I always said Andre the Giant was my hero, not because we're both abnormally large, but I too will probably be dead of a heart attack at 46. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's face. Dude. Andre back. Yeah, like, Cover your ears, Andre. You don't need to hear that you shit. You don't know yet. It's okay. You yeah. Ain't nobody Ten told years. him. <laughs> nah, he knows. Yeah, Man. my my, uh, my dad, he had a little, uh, like a little ceramic uh, basset hound. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking and about. He had one of those, and after he died, I was cleaning his apartment out, and I was I set the basset hound in the pasture seat of my work truck, and uh, I was unloading everything at the house, and my wife was all like, "Did you get everything?" And I covered the little dog's ears up. I said, "Shh, he don't know yet." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "What the hell wrong with you?" <laughs> That's me with anything, man. I I don't care if I'm talking about anybody. I cover their ears. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She knows. They don't need to know. She knows. Can I sub Jack in, dude? I'm about to be sick. You for real? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh man, I am so sick. Hey, come on, go Jack. Uh, come on. Oh my god. Man. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad. <laughs> I do. Look, I don't feel bad. I just lost. I just lost sound though. Somewhere. You did. Yeah, oh, no, just make sure the uh, things are sitting. There. So look, everybody, Jack. Uh huh. Barely a difference. <laughs> Barely a difference. It's just a little bigger. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was looking over there when I was uh, talking about uh, uh, the live podcast we're going to do, and I was looking at him. I was like, "Oh, he's really hurting." He was like linked down in the chair. I hope you can see it. All. He was just like, oh. "I was like, oh shit." He lost all spine <laughs> control and shit. Hell he yeah, all bowed up. <laughs> He had his hands right in front of his belly. It was, yeah. It, you could see it. It was, yeah, me too. Once he finished it, I knew, I knew this shit was hey, going overboard. You guys talk shit about him in the comments, please. Yeah, he's in he needs this. Like, I, fro- <laughs> I froed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, Jack, what'd you find? What'd you find funny about Ogre in, in all your research? He said nothing. Everything mm-hmm. about him. Everything mm-hmm. about him is funny. Uh. I know you had a you so I, we put down that you stole three kidneys and used one at least one for a transplant. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other two? Well, the the two I originally my original equipment petered out on me because I got a lazy ass pancreas. Mm. Mm. So you got a, you got a, you got a lot of what and you, and you went what happened when you went blind? What well, caused it? Yeah. Oh, I uh, was it. Uh, work and caught an 1800 pound dishwasher machine in the side of the head and knocked both my retinas loose god damn it could always be worse i mean mm-hmm. yeah probably not waiting for the lord and this big old dick i don't know what i do <laughs> <coughs> but i love it because you keep on rolling with the punches oh, and you're the yeah. funniest motherfucker uh everybody knows that they got to follow you it's gonna be a problem Hell yeah. it is every time every time you come out that's a treat for all of us we get to see it uh this hat's getting tight 
on my big ass head y'all give me. <laughs> you deserve it, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah, You're man. like like whenever I first came in, it was like a lore because I would only see you at um, shenanigans, right? Mm-hmm. And then you and Heath, uh, if you guys don't know, he's the one that went with uh, Heath down to Austin. Yeah, and then um, I talked to like Heath right before that, and he was like, "He's going with you," mm. and that's the time I thought you still didn't like me because I didn't get a fifth. <laughs> 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 but every time I see you go up, it was so badass. How'd you like Austin? Uh, it was pretty cool. We uh, we hit a bunch of open mics. We didn't eat barbecue the whole time we were there. You didn't? Uh uh-uh. uh Oh, dude, you come with me. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll go to Terry Blacks. Ooh, yeah, we had fun. It was uh, our lives definitely changed after we got back from that flight to austin what happened well he came back and then stayed a week got rid of his dog and moved back to austin and blew up on kill tony and <laughs> i got back and went to the emergency room and had half my foot removed <laughs> spent a month in the hospital so about the same yeah same me same fucking thing both got a story out of it yeah yeah yeah, yeah both had a cool story yeah now you're back walking around hell yeah like a fucking g yeah, it's just mm-hmm. weight reduction, baby. I'm faster, <laughs> more aerodynamic. <laughs> and the foot didn't slow you down. I heard, I saw you did some uh, wheelchair comedy. Like I you- did. Yeah, I was already booked. Fuck it, I can't go cancel a show. Oh. What'd you do? What'd you do that at? Uh, the Cross-eyed Owl. Uh, Ash Kennedy had me booked on a show. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I was there for that one. I remember that. Yeah, that was a good show. Hell yeah. I went up there with a wheelchair and fucked them up there. And did amazing. Mm-hmm. I did roll-up comedy. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> I went from the wheelchair to crutches to back in my stylish yet affordable New Balances. <laughs> did you notice if you got more laughs in the wheelchair or if if it helped you at all? I think it was more of a, oh, <laughs> him's trying. <laughs> <laughs> uh Man, what the fuck about that? Ain't no telling. Uh, hold on, I gotta think about it. Brandon, yeah. hit him, hit him with one of your wrestling ones because he's been wanting to talk to you about this for right. a minute. Well, oh. since we're talking, well, we basically got through. First, I need to know if you were an LJN fan. You said you had all of them, and then the dog fucked some of them up, which really hurt me inside, mm-hmm. especially being a former collector. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about wrestling, man. If you fuck with the action figures, that's my big thing. Uh. I had bought some more probably five or six years ago, mm-hmm. just to let the kids fuck with them or whatever. And the, I got rid of them because uh, another little kid in the neighborhood wanted some shit or whatever. So I gave him a bunch of fuck ton of Hot Wheels and all those wrestling things. The only one I kept was Superfly Jimmy Snooker. You mean the LJN Superfly Snooker one? Or the I don't know. It was, I, <laughs> I bought them at, the, at a yard sale. I don't even know what kind they were. My blind ass couldn't tell you. I'm not even entirely sure it's Superfly Jimmy Snooker. <laughs> okay. It's just some dude. <laughs> I was like, I don't give a shit. Look, <laughs> it's Superfly Jimmy Snooker to me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the reason I was excited is because I've never found anybody that loves the golden era of wrestling. Everybody talk about today and attitude, but nobody ever talks about Jake. I'm going to stop until you huh? stop it. Oh, so oh I didn't even notice. I was so into it. I was <laughs> it says glucose monitor. You good? Oh, they died one hell. <laughs> <laughs> I know I thought I heard something. I was like, what? That would be uh, great. Yeah. That would be great views. Jack Douglas from the left with the left hook. Yeah, come in hot. <laughs> cut this bitch off. You ain't gotta cut it off, huh? I see you're all right now. I'm good. I'm good. She was checking if I was good. <laughs> you guys better be good. I mean, I was a bitch because of at first, but now it's nah, out of doubt. I'm perfect now. I can have two more. <laughs> There's two left. You Get see your it? spoonful of hell. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Y'all challenge me. No, I'm not. No. Uh, not now. Maybe. Now. Afterwards. 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 No, look, I, this is what I was going to tell you. So everybody out there, look at me. Ogre, I know he, I know he's partially blind, but he said I look like Big J Ogerson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I look What's like Big J. That? What's wrong with that? I don't look like Big J Ogerson. Okay, let's see. I'm searching him <laughs> up. <laughs> look but, him up. But I love Big J. I seen you got a shout out from oh. him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you do a show with him? or? No. Uh, what's this? This got a fucked up. Uh, he came to stand up live, and I, I happened to have a show the eighth of the next month or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, Oh man, he came out to, to do the meet and greet. He waited till everybody fanned out or whatever. And so he comes out and I'm talking to him. 
I was like, it'd be so fucking cool if you would record a promo for me. Cause like, it was my first time to perform at Maggie Myers at the time. And I was, uh, featuring for Mark Viola. Okay. And, uh, I was like, it'd be so cool if you record a promo for me. He's like, yeah, man, I'll do that. And I didn't tell him my fucking name or nothing. He just, he's all like, what's got nine fingers and lots of laughs or whatever. And then. That's badass. I was listening to the bonfire, the podcast he did with Dan Soder. Now it's Bobby Kelly. Uh huh. But uh, they were talking about meeting fans and doing meet and greet and stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, I don't mind. I'll take a picture with anybody. He's like, I really hate those assholes that want you to record videos. And I was like, I wonder if he means me. (laughs) Because it was like the next fucking week. (laughs) He remembered you. Excuse me, I'm going to go fucking hang myself now. (laughs) (laughs) I love Big J, though. He, he He comes down here. Like one of the comedians, Nashville a lot. Nashville, okay. Yeah, but he's he was here for Burt Kreischer's uh, the fully loaded tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's where I seen him. Me and Kimberly went to that. Okay, yeah. Do you know what's fucking crazy? I didn't know any. I I don't think I ever did stand up at this time. And uh, everybody I talked to was there. Everybody, you now you were there. Cam was there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, Dan hosted the shirt. uh, What's that shit called? Uh, take your shirt off. Best dad buy. It was like a best dad buy competition. JJ was in it. So, and they didn't even know. It's like, all this is so crazy. Uh, like, uh, Jalen, uh, Alex, uh, I can't remember who else, but they were, they were all right there, like, and almost like diagonally. We've probably seen each other multiple times. That's crazy. Patrick was there too. I remember. Pat that. was there. Why'd you call him Patrick? Oh, it's just, I don't know why I do that. It depends <laughs> on, sometimes I'll be like, Pat or Patrick. Uh, <laughs> it's Pat. Big Pat, big, big bold crusher. Oh, yeah. Big what's, Pat. What's the, you got? You got any uh, good comedian stories? People uh, like behind the scenes. Oh man, not that I can get anybody in trouble with, and I'm no fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't it got could, any tea to spill. Sorry. It, it could be a crazy like when when somebody told me that uh like uh Chris Kattan was uh. Uh, hyped up in the uh, stand up live dressing room, just something like that. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Donnie Baker, he's passed away now. Shout oh, out, uh, R.I.P. Ron Sexton. But uh, that was probably the chillest, cool dude in person. Like when he wasn't on stage, mm-hmm. being just a, a lunatic. Yeah, he was just all calm, real sweet. He was a nice guy. See, those are the good ones. Yeah, I got to oh, I got to open for him one time. Oh, that's at stand up live. It was awesome. Hell yeah. You you like opening for people like the the bigger names? I mean, yeah, well, they they cut that check at the end of the weekend. It's nice. <laughs> I ain't gonna argue with that. But are the crowds like receptive to you? Because you know they're there to see somebody oh, else. Oh yeah, then yeah. When you get up, um, how do they use? Are they usually hyped about it, or is it like medium or low level? I'm usually up on stage while they're getting their drink orders and shit. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. To, I'm there to keep it occupied until the feature gets up there. So I, mean, I love doing it though. Okay. A few times I've gotten to do it. I always wondered how that would be. Same here. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Okay. It's fun. Hell yeah. I did, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to ask how many places have you uh, traveled to? Like how many places have you performed in? Oh fuck. Uh, all over the southeast. Hell yeah. I've done a bunch in Florida, Mississippi, Georgia, Tennessee, obviously, Alabama, uh, Indiana once. That's just, I get around. Where, anywhere I can get a ride to, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know you went to, uh, what, Niceville, Florida with uh, Roy Hairston? Yeah, yeah. Me and Roy used to travel a whole bunch before my foot decided it wanted to be on a uh, sale half off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a wild a wild story, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> out there in uh, Panama City Beach. And uh, the deal we had was we had an open tab at the bar we were uh-huh. doing the show at. And uh, I was drinking these uh, craft. There was like a little microbrewery craft uh, soda shop or whatever. And they were like $8 diet sodas. I drank about nine of them some bitches. But Roy was drinking like $17 glasses of mead. And he oh. was fucking gone. <laughs> so we, we uh, hell is this the fourteen hundreds? <laughs> drinking mead? Yeah. Wait, what yeah. is mead? It's just honey. It's yeah. like a honey wine instead oh. of I mean, fruit. But uh, we was talking shit to these guys that were playing chess before the show started, mm-hmm. 
And then uh, Roy's up there just sloshed. And he's like, man, when, this, when I'm done with this show, I'm going to whoop y'all's ass at chess. And they were like, whatever. So these guys stuck around. He'd mainly sit and they'd stay around and watch the show or whatever. But after the show, Roy Silver and just like slumps in the chair and just and when I say spank their fucking ass at chess, it was sad. The first game was sad. Oh, he's a beast like that. Yeah, so, yeah he snuck up on him. <laughs> they got him. <laughs> put money on it. No, I didn't put no money on it. It was just a fuck you. You think you're gonna beat me? Because I'm a comedian. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the next time we came down there to the show again, we didn't have an open tab anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah, no. we, we ruined it for everybody. I think it was like a a two drink free or whatever. Oh, okay, okay. I've I, I met him one time at an apartment show. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah he's he was cool. Where does he do, where does he do comedy? And uh, like uh, he's in Fort Payne. Okay, okay, Fort Payne. He, yeah, he, he just started an open mic out there too on Sundays. I believe mm. he used to host the open mic at the station. Yeah, he did a lot box car. right around here. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he would drive all the way here to host that. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Damn. Damn. As Ochre, you used to host an open mic over at the uh, Huntsville International Airport. I did. That's For real? I, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't too far into comedy actually, and uh, my wife was a waitress there at the restaurant, and the the manager was all like, "Yeah, sure, whatever, you can do it." And uh, I'm the. One, I know it's not surprising, but I'm the one that got it canceled for saying <laughs> the phrase "the N word." I didn't say the N word. I said. T H E space N space word and they canceled the shit out of it. Really? Yeah. Huh. I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> they paid me in beer and food, so I was like, oh well, I guess I don't get free chicken wings. Oh well. <laughs> Hold on, you guys are getting money for hosting things? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> for real. What? I get fifth, I get ten percent off at Pleasures. Ooh. Got one down on yeah. Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. deal. <laughs> I want to buy one of those toys, guys. Yeah, yeah. I want to buy one of those half torsos. It's just the ass. I, I was thinking about it. I want to put some boy shorts. If I didn't have a daughter living at home, I would. <laughs> yeah. I want to get one of those and put boy shorts on it and just leave it on the coffee table to see how many of my friends walk by and slap it on the ass because you got to. <laughs> you got to. You know you got to. You oh got hell, to. they'll break down and smack it. Yeah. Oh, the first time yeah. you have you have to smack it to see. Is it really? Uh... <laughs> so how much those cost? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Like just, Hell, I, I was just wondering. I'm not trying to. Not trying I think to they're like, one. I think at pleasures like you can get one for like sixty bucks. I believe. Yeah, they don't yeah, hand I, them out. But yeah, I think yeah. it depends on the material too. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. how realistic are you willing to get? Okay. How really? How realistic do you want, Brandon? Well, you know my bro, yeah. Vito. He would like sure. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, he likes realistic shit. Sixty dollars. That's not a bad deal these days. I heard back in the day it was like I'm pretty sure that's one of the one on the lower end. So yeah, sixty is probably what you can probably. I'm guessing too. Together. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the whole like He's the like, whole body is like fifteen hundred. You can damn. get those. for real. Mm-hmm. Was that with the head and everything? With one the of those head things? and everything. Like you get wigs. Like you, you get accessories. With it's the like head just and going everything. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. least you know, important like part. Like, that's the part that I'm not worried about. <laughs> Yeah. So we in the future, right? Are we at that point where there's one that you click a button and it moves around and just gets ready for you? Like, but I think I that would be think scary so. right now because what if one switch? You know what I'm saying? Your shit's fucked up. Oh, man. you know what I'm saying? You seen that uh, that Whitney Cummings special where she's got yeah. her? She made the sex robot. And she brings it out or whatever mm-hmm. on stage. It's pretty fucking funny. Let me see. Yeah, I seen she she had it uh like on her podcast just sitting there a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah. After she got done, it does look just like her too. It's creepy. Yeah, I see. I I don't think I could bang a. First of all, I'm not moving. I think moving it is worse than than banging it. Like if it was just appeared in your bed, yeah. So it's but it's not if you got morally to- wrong. You're just lazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm with I you. mean, no, I think. I th- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when I move it. That bitch is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you, you have that's the whole thing to to do this. Damn. I just I mean, like when I'm busting and jacking off, I mean I just need just a little video and that's yeah, it. Yeah. I don't want to do a whole bunch of other shit. Yeah. I'm about I don't get the appeal of it. I'm be, yeah. I'm just now that I'm just talking about it more. Nah. Yeah, I'm about the economics of time. Yeah. yeah. I and then I'm a, and get out. Do you know the post nut clarity after banging one of these things? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. You're probably damn near suicidal. Like, oh, what am I doing with myself? Like, <laughs> I used to be something. <laughs> Time to go get the Terminator. Time to go get the glass wand and clean her out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 
<laughs> they don't show that shit in the Dawn commercials, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. Dude, that's a good commercial idea. That's, that's a good idea, dude. Just how good are those magic erasers? <laughs> That'll work for some people. Like, oh, that's how you clean it. Huh? Tired of your hall closet smelling like bleach. <laughs> <laughs> clean your fuck doll. <laughs> it's how this man is every day. Hell yeah. <laughs> you get nothing but bangers. And when you watch, please, uh, please be kind, don't rewind. Damn it. Be I kind, said it right don't the rewind. first time. So close. It was so what is proud it? Of be you. kind, don't rewind. Be kind, don't rewind. There you go. I got it right the first time, though. Yes, he did. Why am I adding please? Who's most deaf? Who's Jack Black? Have you seen the Be Kind Don't Rewind movie? Oh, I oh, love yeah. that movie. So it's a it's a <gasps> movie where Jack where Jack Black owns like a VHS store, like one of the last ones. Is it not called that? No, it was Most Deaf that owned it. it yeah, let me do it's it. Be Kind Rewind. rewind. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. you don't have to rewind because you're just watching with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this movie. It's good. Yeah. You have, you have two episodes is- out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done uh, Lady in the Tramp and uh, uh, Molly Re Yeah, sixteen candles. Sixteen right now, candles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just watched it. I was I was telling Kim how I was laughing at the end. You were like, "I've watched this. Mo- Try to watch the movie six times and steal this end in part. I've never seen it." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we Ooh. did scary movie. Absolutely. Hey, and that's a banger. I went. I mean, I went back and watched it and had just as much fun as I did. The first hundred times or whatever I watched that movie, I love it. And we both were like me and you had a lot of the same ta- uh, yeah, time yeah. stamps. Yeah, that's good stuff. One one of my favorite characters that it's like he's not a main character. He's only in it probably four scenes. But Sydney's dad, yeah, Sydney's dad is so good. Father like father of the year, <laughs> yeah. he comes up. He's like, I gotta go away. You know, remember Uncle Uncle X Escobar? <laughs> Some things went missing. A couple legs are gonna get broken. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But yeah. I left you something on the table. <laughs> he's talking about coke. He's like, yeah. he's like, you gotta step on it with bacon soda, not bacon powder, because you don't want to have muffins growing out of their no- <laughs> nose. You always love that joke. Ever yeah. since you were two years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wild thing to say to your dog. Jesus Christ. fucking wild. Oh, man. But, yeah, it was a great time. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's going to jog some memories for especially people at least 35 and older. Yeah. Because when that movie came out, it was big. It was huge. And then it got – and then it did – was it? I'm trying it, – it was huge for uh, – Yeah, it, was, it did pretty damn good there for a while. It was in the theaters. It was more of a – like a, a rental thing, I think. That's where I watched it, rental, because yeah. we couldn't even get into the movies to watch it. Yeah, we wasn't made of money back in the day. You couldn't even go to the movies all the time. Hell no. Yeah. You you from here? Well, I'm from Hartzell, yeah. Okay. So did you guys have a movie theater, and how many movies did it play? Uh, the Decatur had a uh, movie theater. Mm-hmm. I think it was four or five screens. Okay. So I grew up where they had two screens. So it's just like a, they had a big room, and then they had a small room. So we didn't even get all the movies. It would just be like the most popular too. But Scary Movie was on there, so I thought I figured it'd be big. What about you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm from here, so it, there was a bunch of theaters. We okay, had, there, there was n- plenty to well, see. No, no we got all the movies. Ever. We got everything. Yeah, I wasn't hurting there. And when did the when did the movie prices go up so much? When did that happen? It was like 2000 and I'll say four. Damn, that's around the time yeah. I was born. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I wish I was there. I wish. Go, go outside and sit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your ass in here no more. <laughs> Damn it, man. I envy those times, though, man. I wish I was there when that came out. <laughs> Remember the first the first movie I ever went to the movies to watch? Dad took me and my sister to the, I think it was the Dollar movie, to watch 9 to 5, that Dolly Parton movie. Oh, yeah. Working 9 mm-hmm. to 5. Real, real fun for a small boy to go watch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck less. <man. laughs> but you, did you ever give us your movie? Do no, you, you didn't ever give us your movie. Oh yeah, yeah, it was uh, Princess Bride. Oh yeah, Princess Bride. That's what you want. Oh yeah, let me search that up. Andre D. Fucking Giant, mm-hmm. my guy. Now listen, nobody out drinking him, man. You know, hell no, hell no. Good luck trying. He will flip your car over. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, man. Yeah, that, oh, man. 
That dude was so dope. He got the same hairstyle, too. Look at that shit. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Brady could entertain, entertain himself with this for days. I never seen Princess Bride, though. I got to. It's what? funny. I know. I this never is seen funny this funny shit. Mm-mm-mm. I just remember I, the only thing like I can tell you about some movies and I just know the object like the Matrix. I've never seen all the Matrix. I've only seen the new one, but I can tell you about that car every day. Hold on, what do you mean you only seen the new Matrix? Like the newest one they ever made. That's the only one I've seen. What? I've never seen like the first one. I haven't seen the second you, the one. The first one, dude. Good lord. J- even if it's just the first one, just watch the first one. Okay, I'll do that. I'm not saying watch all of them. First you know how many bang. pale goths bought trench coats after this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know I get influenced, man. I'll be next. <laughs> <laughs> He's already drinking eggs here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Then I pull up with the trench coat. They already. Uh, I remember I was my first comedy show. They thought I was the trench coat guy. I was in the back. <laughs> and they were like, I don't know. My first time seeing the show, she was like, he looked like he's going to blow this place up. Like, what? I don't know who it was. He lost me. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Yeah. So you were in the back of the your first comedy show going to it? Oh or no, I was watching. I was just an audience member in the back, uh-huh. just watching. And she was like, "That dude look like he finna blow it up on the first bat." Like I was like, "Damn, I'm just trying to support you." <laughs> you know me, just sitting back here looking creepy yeah. as fuck. <laughs> then when I would have stood up and been like, "Hey," and they were like, "It's nothing in there," they wouldn't have known at the time. Would have probably uh, yeah. died. I can't say nothing. I've had my trench coat now about 24 years. <laughs> Damn, for real? Yeah. My trench coat is older than my kid. Jesus. That's, oh, wow. that's pre Columbine, so it was, so yeah. it was okay. Oh, yeah. It was okay, so it was okay. back then. <laughs> I mean, I got one what? with a hoodie on. I thought Columbine was 99. It was. Let me see. Fuck, I don't know. It was 99. I wasn't there. Officer. So you bought it. Hold on. That means you uh, bought yeah. it the bought year 90, Columbine. I bought came it in 98. 98? Okay, okay. Let's see what you. Yeah, right before. Okay, so that was 1999, April 20th. So you're still safe, Oker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're still safe. Yeah. Wow, it's been that long. I bought it one of my first paychecks from my big boy job. What was that? Uh, working my fat ass off in a wood drill plant in Hartzell. Wood drill? Mm-hmm. What you do you do Those big wooden spools they put the power lines yeah. on. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. They used to assemble those. Oh, okay, okay. Is that how you lost a finger? No, that's how I lost a hundred and something pounds over a summer. <laughs> <laughs> the middle of summer in a big ass metal building working your ass off. That'll do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the glow. I need to do that job right now. How Me much are you getting paid? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I was just saying I need to do that too. You was talking about you do it. We'll do it together now. We're you can't lose a hundred pounds no more, Brandon. Well not one hundred, probably. I can lose 40. I can lose a hundred and, and just be a regular person. Mm. You know what right, I mean? You're right. <laughs> Yeah, two thirty. He said, "Yeah, 100. you right. Maybe two. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm like two thirty minus a hundred. Yeah, that might not be good. That might not be good. Mm-mm. I look like look like a Jack Skeleton, Nightmare Before Christmas. I've seen a little bit of that one. <laughs> I like bit. how he said it. Like he was proud of. So I've seen a little bit. A little okay. Bit. <laughs> I know about that boogie thing, Brandon. How many times have you seen Madagascar two? Ooh. Man, I've seen the whole series quite a bit. I can't even tell you about that. Number three is the least one I've seen, though, with that little circus shit. Uh-huh. But uh, number two, because I had that moment. Uh, have you ever heard the moment I had with Madagascar 2? That was the last time I shit myself. <laughs> my, friend, my friend made me laugh so hard as bit. I was like... What was y'all like doing? Like five years old. <laughs> we were just cracking jokes. And then something happened. I said, oh, shit. And then I, I, it happened. And, it I, it? and I waited like five minutes. No, you know, I had to figure out a way to tell this guy. And then his family <laughs> came in there. His mom and dad were arguing while they had me in the bathroom trying to figure out what to do with me. Because well, I was, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nobody expected that. We didn't have extra clothes. <laughs> Said it's a tickle fight, and I'm winning. That's, I, wait, hold on. That could have been it. Because that used to happen sometimes. I remember a kid. What? In recess would do that. He'd just jump out of nowhere and tickle. And He's would, on a watch list now. Yeah, and then we, and we, and we, that right. motherfucker moves in the neighborhood. He's got to knock on doors and do some explaining. And we would always. Are, are a man or a t- Oh, no, it was a kid. Oh, oh God. It was a janitor. <laughs> it was a kid. Did you say it was? It was just a, a janitor. <laughs> He loved tickling. Yeah, shout right. out Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I love my janitor, man. Was yeah. Best shoulder rubs. I missed at elementary school. <laughs> what a 
got good grades for a shoulder rub. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> you out in these streets trying to get took. <laughs> we we told him uh, he was he was asking. Well, sci-fi. I won't say we, because hmm? he told us these story like in the first, I think, couple months, and he was over here telling sci-fi like we we were like God, sci-fi. You got to listen to this each one, and he was like, look. Usually, I don't victim blame, but it sounded like you were asking for. <laughs> <laughs> I was too trustworthy back then. I didn't know. Somebody, somebody asked you if you had candy. I'd be like, "Oh, so you really got candy?" And then, and I thought I was tough too. Like my mom was like, "What if they put you in the truck?" I was like, "Good luck trying to get my ass in the truck." The dude, eighty years old. What the fuck is he gonna do to me? I didn't know. I was like five, man. No, he was gonna get you. Oh yeah, yeah. not shit. I would have done. He was gonna get you. Yeah, and now, now I'm seeing another thing that's weird to me. There's an ice cream truck, man. It's like a regular van. It's not even an official thing. And it's in my girl's neighborhood. She knows what I'm talking about. It's an old man. Like, he comes around at 7 o'clock every uh, night and just plays that. And nobody ever comes up to him. And I don't know what's going on. And I almost went up to him. Like, to, like now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's now. They come around like 8.30, 9 o'clock sometimes. Yeah. And it's old as shit, too. It's not an official one. Like, I can tell because I'm looking at the stickers. Yeah. My sister, Call and, uh, <laughs> What's that? my sister and brother-in-law ran an ice cream truck in Hartzell there for a little while, uh -huh. and uh, she will get mad when she hear me say this, <laughs> but uh, they had dropped one of the trucks off at a shop to get it worked on, and so they were like, hey, the truck's ready to get picked up. It's already paid for. Will you go pick it up for us? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I got a buddy to drop me off. Well, I grabbed my Marilyn Manson Antichrist Superstar disc, <laughs> and I slid that bitch in the player. Shut the fuck up. And I blared that shit on the PA system all the way home. <laughs> just the beautiful people just rattling windows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good album. Hell yeah, what about ice cream? That's a good album. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, Ogre. This is the end of the podcast. It's been a hoot. A I mean, and or a holler. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's been a good. Thank you, Jack, for filling in for uh, JJ, who's a bitch. Him, him so, <laughs> yeah, I want to say that again. <laughs> we gotta make sure we say that. Now, what you're gonna do right now uh, into this camera? That means I'm pointing straight ahead. Fair enough. You're just going to <laughs> you're just going to say whatever you got your socials, and we'll put it up on the side of you. And whatever you got coming up, shows or anything, it'll be on the week. So whatever you got coming up. Okay. Uh, was it ogre underscore comedy on Instagram? Uh, it's ogre underscore space comedy, and this is a picture of me. This is a ton of them fuckers on YouTube, but anyway. And then uh, let's see, I'm on the Comic Con. That's the 13th, isn't it? Where uh, shenanigans? After that, yeah, shenanigans mm -hmm. is one of the official after party spots of the uh, the Comic Con. So we're doing stand up comedy dressed up as uh, characters and shit, and I'm going to be Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> That's good. And then I believe it's the, the 18th. We're doing uh, is the 18th in that roast battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The 18th. Uh, we're doing a roast battle, and I'm going to be up against Carson Elmore. So uh, try to come see me at some point because I'm probably getting canceled after the 19th. <laughs> <laughs> and if I make it past that, the uh, 27th, we're doing a uh, roast of the 80s, and I'm going to be Ronald Reagan. Oh damn! I want to see that. It's oh, going to be fun. Hell yeah! Yeah. And the 25th, I'm going to be on. Uh, one of one of the the source words that Scott uses for happy or good stuff comedy hours. I love it. On the twenty fifth. Hell yeah! All right, Ogre. Thank you so much. It's been a thank fucking you. great time. Thank Hell you, big yeah. dog. Thank you.